All right, you guys, so tonight I'm going to take you out in the garage. We're going to remove the B-Series clutch uh, master cylinder. We're going to put the Protégé stock master cylinder back in, but we're going to use a reservoir, like a remote reservoir, instead of the tying it into the brake system. I uh, decided I could use a motorcycle rear brake reservoir or a Willwood reservoir kit or something along that lines. When you're using a motorcycle reservoir, make sure you get a reservoir that has a screw-on lid and not one that actually uses Phillips screws to hold the lid down. That way you're not messing with trying to use a screwdriver on the clutch master reservoir. You just have to unscrew it like you normally would with the brake system. So let's get out here, let's do this, and I'll show you what I'm, what we got going on. So here's the B-Series clutch master. I have not figured out how to fix this dilemma. So we're going to remove it. We're going to still go with a reservoir for the clutch master. And I've got a couple different options on how I want to do this. But either I'm going to, oops, sorry guys. Either I'm going to run a Willwood Reservoir, like this one here. It's got a bracket, it's got a single nipple. Or we're going to go with a motorcycle res style reservoir, like this here. And if we go with this, then it'll be each, each, take up a lot less space, be easier to mount. Um, I also have this reservoir from another project bike I had a while back before the YouTube days. The only thing I don't like about that is it uses screws to take it apart. So we're going to get this pedal assembly back out. We're going to ditch this idea. I'm not a fan of it. I don't want to rig or doctor anything. So let me get the 12 millimeter bolts out. It's three bolts. It's easy. And go from there. Here's what we ended up doing. Motorcycle rear brake reservoir bolted to this bracket here and the factory clutch lines, reservoir line still fits. A lot cleaner, a lot more simple. And you're still using the factory clutch master so you don't have to change push rods or anything. Even easier. These run about 10 bucks on Amazon if you want to buy one that way. I had one laying over from another project. So there's my solution. I like this a lot better than the, the B-Series setup. Uh, if you go, if you keep the stock clutch master from Prozac, you use the stock push rod, not the B-series push rod. Thanks for watching, y'all. God bless.